Division 2 Division 2 Division 2 Let's go baby You see it works man Let's go My name is Julian Garrity and I'm the creative director on Tom Clancy's The Division 2. <laughs> on Black Friday, a strain of the smallpox virus was released on dollar bills in New York City. The infection and chaos spread across the nation. Seven months later, the virus has mostly burnt itself out, but America is tearing itself no apart. Washington, D.C. is at the heart of this battle. Under constant threat from dangerous factions, civilians are trying to rebuild. In their survival lies the seed for the rebirth of society. Get some punk champ in the shot. Now we missed a bit. Oh shit. Dude. Ball sniper, grenade launcher. Washington, here we come. Dude. Once agents reach the end of the main campaign, it's time to select a new progression path 
by picking a specialization. I hope they should starts with the show this though. Of a signature weapon, powerful and unique weapons that complement the rest of your equipment. Yeah, yeah show the sniper. As you progress with your specializations, <laughs> 50 you will not cal only sniper. Grow in power, but also unlock additional tools and abilities, including exclusive versions of skills. Speaking of teamwork, I'm excited to announce that for the first time, eight players will be able to partner up to face the ultimate endgame challenge. Raids are coming to the Division 2. I already knew that, but that's nice. We learned a lot. We learned a lot from working on the first game. And with the Division 2, we're launching with plans for years of frequent major content updates. Today, we're ready to outline our plans for year one. Yeah, let's we'll go, dude. We're launching three DLCs in the form of episodes. Each one will bring new story, new areas to explore, and new activities. Well, Levanto. And the best part? It's all free. All of these episodes will be completely free for everyone. That's good, that's good. The SHIELD program will reward players, new players and committed players for in-game achievements. Mm -hmm. And these shields will be, we start off. Complete new shield challenge every month. Data, adventure, shepherd, hazard. Oh shit, so there's four in June and then one each month, right? Until the launch. Unlock exclusive in-game reward for Division and Division 2. Yeah. Start off with four. Yep. And it goes up to 12. And each one of those seals will reward people with a little something. Okay. Like currency, a little collectible, some uh, narrative uh, content, that type of thing. And even better than that, if you own lots of shields, you'll unlock unique elements in the Division 2. So if anyone's got Game Pass, you can go download Division now, go on those shields, so you've got a nice little thing for Division 2. The shields start June 14th. So you got a couple of days, but again, they're retroactive, so don't worry. You know, you can start playing so now and then uh, get all of the shield contacts. Yes. Yeah, so uh, in the Division 2, in terms of your relationship with the enemy and your relationship with combat. So the first again. thing I want to speak to is, is you know, this impression of bullet sponginess. You, you have a photorealistic, credible world, and yet Hello. there are enemies that can take 700 hits to the head. It, it, it kind of broke the, the immersion. For the Division 2, what we wanted to do is to challenge that, is to make the combat much more intuitive. Getting that topography of, of kill times, like, Taking down red bars super snappy, we're closer to a shooter, pure shooter experience. It feels so much snappier. The the enemies uh, go down faster. The time to kill has been cut way down. So you create All again the on the head, big right? hulking, tough targets where we apply this new feature of destructible armor. If an enemy turn, right? is armored, you can see that armor, and you can see bullets chipping it away. We've seen in, in the first game as well that it's very important to, when you create a, a party with your friends that you need to have uh, different types of skills. So you have a sniper, you have an assault. So we wanted to, to push even further all that. In the Division 2, you're going to be able very, very quickly to group up with people and to find different roles to play. That just gets better when we consider specializations. So yeah, that's uh, most of the interesting stuff that they did show yesterday, right? So, basically, free DLCs for year one. We have eight man raids, and they talk about shields, which gonna run every month. And then as well, the time to kill talk. I think it's pretty nice. It sounds really good. Seems like they are fixing the problems that the Division One had. Like especially if you just look at the gameplay and see the movement. It did does look a little bit weird, but at least like it's not gonna be the same responsiveness which Division One had, which maybe felt good, but it made the PvP really special, right? <laughs> what are you trying to do in terms of loot uh, to make the loot more interesting? Hit your damage bonus! Let's go, dude! 
What the fuck? Sorry that I screamed, computer. Somebody clipped that. Somebody screenshot that, dude. Screenshot it. Screenshot it. I think... I think... Yeah, here you can see me when I shake the, the chest piece here, which have headshot damage as a major, which I'm super super excited about. And I mean, looking for the gameplay, I'm just hoping the headshot damage is going to be a bit higher. And I mean, since you can have it on, on a chest piece as a major, that gives me some good hopes. And yeah, something else I wanted to mention here is that we have, haven't seen any self-aid heal. I haven't seen any healing station, which I think is great. What I have seen is something called, I think, armor kits. Basically, med kits, right? Since you have an armor bar now, as well as the normal health, you use those new med kits to heal both armor and your HP. But if you see here, she actually have to stand still and charge it for how long does it take? Like three seconds? I think that is a pretty cool change as well. Not sure how that's gonna play in into PvP, but yeah, that could eliminate a lot of the problems pp had in the first one though so that's cool to see this video didn't exactly turn out how i wanted it to be since i am really limited on time right now like i'm already 10 minutes late for the stream now but yeah i will make a recap video for what happened today for tomorrow and hopefully i have some more time to put into that one but i hope at least this video gave you something but yeah i'm gonna just render this one out and go and stream and just go and check out the division games stream which should be live ar around now and if you want to chat with me about that just go to twitch.tv slash with and yeah we can chill but yeah thank you so much for watching and have a nice day thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you do like my content and want to support financially you can check out my patreon and if that's not enough you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash have a nice day